is the recent news about Britain's population? Oh, there's loads of us. There's loads! There's loads! It's, it's now gone up to 61, 61 million. million. Now, this was, reported, this was reported by The Independent, uh, for example, during the week, with baby boom drives British population to record high. Yep. Whereas The Sun said, Randy Couples <laughs> push population to 61 million. You know and brilliantly, The Daily Mail said, an immigrant baby boom has truly <laughs> Britain's fastest population growth in half a century. It's, it's so it's like there's an agenda in place. What was lovely, <laughs> <laughs> what was lovely as well was the links, because the Independent and the Mail all had links to how population is going to affect us in the future. The Sun had a link from that news story that said, 11 million people have had sex in their car. Are you one of them? <laughs> <laughs> I read about this story. Uh, I read about this story originally on the, on the Daily Mail website, and uh, it made a big thing about the immigra immigrants. And then it said uh, the average woman in Britain now has 1.9 children. And I thought, who are, who are all these 0.9 people? <laughs> and then I read the comments underneath, and uh... <laughs> <laughs> there they were. Hello. <laughs> what we need to do, I think, is uh, put teenagers off sex, and I am the very man for that job. <laughs> send a prisoner round sometimes to tell kids in school that crime isn't going to be good for them. <laughs> they should send me round to show them what sex is like in a long-term relationship. <laughs> and for realism, in the middle of it, my two-year-old son walks in and tells us that... tells us both that he needs a poo. <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. Yeah. Hang on one second. Oh, I've just got you can up. lock the racist door, but you can't <laughs> lock the bedroom door. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, BNP, they got very excited by the, uh, the baby boom statistics, didn't they? And you know, like Jerry Adams used to, when he was on the news, they always had to dub his voice, didn't yeah. they? I think for the BNP, whenever Nick Griffin's on the news, they should dub his voice with the voice of Joe Pasquale. <laughs> I think it'd be funny if it was Mr. When... T. Sorry. Yeah, I was going to say, or, or like a Jamaican. <laughs> uh, <laughs> in a patois. They yeah, come over the BMP here. BMP here. Yeah. <laughs> trying to steal my jobs and thing. It was great. When he. Uh... Steel drums in the background. <laughs> <laughs> ding, 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 ding. <laughs> ding, ding. Does anyone hear a creaking door? <laughs> 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 To do some serious things to tackle the population problem, right? First of all, we should get Fiona Bruce during Antiques Roadshow to every 30 seconds go BOO! <laughs> and secondly, we need a security firm patrolling Kerry Katona's vagina 24 7. <laughs> okay, at the end of. Uh... At the end of that round, the points go to Russell, Holly, and Andy. 